Shawarma, one of the greatest things to come out of the Middle East since algebra. Meat cut into slices, stacked in a cone-like shape, and roasted on a slowly turning rotisserie. The pinnacle of Middle Eastern fast food. I'm salivating just talking about it. Mmm, yum. Dope-tastic. Mmm. Welcome back to another episode of Yum Dope Tastic. It's your boy Awesome Shahid and Muhammad Isa. Isa, what are we doing today? We're going to three different shawarma places, getting their chicken shawarma. But the catch is, we're getting it from three different countries. We're going to a Syrian place, a Lebanese Armenian place, and a Nigerian place. Nigeria? I didn't know Nigerians had shawarma. Yeah, I've never had Nigerian shawarma. Never heard of it. But it's supposed to be this Afro fusion type of thing. So shout out Nigeria. You ready to check it out? Let's go. Shawarma King on Richmond and Hillcroft. The Silk Road of Houston. This place is known for their shawarma. It's been around since 2001. That's older than most kids on TikTok. But honestly, I don't think I've been here for like 10 years. But I do remember, I have fond memories of this place, but I just haven't been back. You know, to be honest with you, I have a preconceived notion of this place. Who named something shawarma king? Unless you're overcompensating for something, you know? So this shawarma looks pretty authentic, pretty good. You know it's authentic when they wrap it in aluminum. It comes with lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, garlic sauce, and it's wrapped in a nice pita. Okay, yikes. Look at that ugly bite. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at awesome. You look so weird. Wow. <laughs> First bite, I really like this bread. It's not crispy because I don't really like it to be too crispy and sometimes some places do that. You're absolutely right. The last thing I want to see is crackage along the edges of my shawarma. But I think the chicken is really fresh. It's well seasoned. It's made really well. Very good to my tummy. This is perfectly made. The garlic has a nice bite. Every bite has a bit of that tomato, that chicken, the sauce, the pickle, the lettuce. It's a cohesive sandwich. It's cool. I dig it. All right, Isa, from 1 to 10, what would you rate it? Okay, so this sandwich, I would definitely have to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It definitely exceeded my expectations. I really like this place. It's good. What about you, Awesome? I'll also give it an 8.5. Is it the best shawarma I've ever had? No, but I see why they call themselves the shawarma king. You know, it really tastes homemade. Something my aunt would make, my mom would make. You ready to check out the next spot? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. You might be wondering, wow, Awesome, what a sick haircut. And I'd reply, it's all thanks to Danny the Barber, right next to Shawarma King. Go check him out. Okay, so we're at our next location. RP's Deli, located on the west side of Houston, right behind Phoenicia Specialty Foods. It's an Armenian Lebanese place. Shout out my Armenians, my boy George. I've been here before many times, but it's been over six or seven years. This is more of a refined shawarma, a western take. I just can't stop raving about. This caters more to the suburban white moms of America. Okay, so I wouldn't call this shawarma authentic, but it does do the job. I'm not mad at it. They do have potatoes in it, which is a very very authentic component in the Lebanese shawarma. The chicken does get a little dry sometimes, so you might have to douse it in some sauce. There's nothing wrong with that. The garlic sauce is mixed with mayo, which I don't prefer, but it's not bad it's either. Not mad at Overall, it. I would give this place a 7 out of 10. It wouldn't be my first choice to go to when I'm in the mood for shawarma. I'd give it a 9. It's more nostalgic for me. I grew up eating this. It's a hearty shawarma. I could definitely eat two or three of these. <laughs> 3T Shawarma, right off Highway 6 and Westheimer. One of the most famous Nigerian Shawarma restaurants outside of Nigeria. Yo, I'm excited to try this. First off, there's a hot dog in here. You ever had a hot dog in your Shawarma? Insane. The chicken isn't a normal Shawarma style on the big skewer. It looks more like shredded chicken. Listen, if I gave this to my father and I told him, hey, I made this and this is a Shawarma, he'd laugh at me. No joke, this Shawarma's half a pound. It has nice girth to it. The sauce is really creamy and flavorful even though we asked for a bit of spice it's actually not that spicy i'd give it an eight it's not a bad sandwich i wouldn't call it a shawarma personally i love the addition of the cabbage the sauce is sweet and i really like it it's really good i'd give it an eight out of ten just for the experience it's very out of the box and i would definitely come back here especially when i'm in the mood to zhuzh up the regular shawarma on this. All right, so even though I really, really, really enjoyed the Nigerian one, it's totally different. It's a different experience. I'm still going to have to go with the authentic Middle Eastern Shawarma King Shawarma. Awesome. What about you? My winner, without even thinking, RP's Deli. Congratulations. Come take your award. Woo! 
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes part one of our Shawarma food tour here in Houston. If you'd like more information on the restaurants we checked out today, check the description down below. And, and don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell icon for notifications on every new video we drop. If you want to recommend a restaurant, new trend, new idea, slide into our DMs on Instagram at yumdopetastic to let us know what you want us to review next. And don't forget to check out our playlist and our previous videos. Don't forget. It's your boy Awesome Shahid and Muhammad Isa. And you're watching Yum Dope Tastic. We're, We're out. out. Yeah. Mmm.